money and who is ready for a thrift hurl slash tea vlog. We're going to be looking at things and sipping things. So I'll wait for you to go get a tea unless you already have one. Are you prepared? Are you one of those kind of people? Uh, oh, my hair is like all over the place today. It is on second day curl sass and it just, you know, it keeps getting better every time I do this to it. It's fixed. So I went thrifting today trying to get just a few pieces to take with me on vacation. Next month I'm going to Walt Disney World. Even though it's like April and it's normally hot in Orlando, like sometimes it's cooler in the evenings. So I do a lot of layering and I take a couple jackets when I go in the springtime because I'm like a reptile. Like I like to be in direct sun under a heat lamp next to a heater with the hairdryer going like all at once. I'm ready for the 100 degree weather. Like I always do, I'm gonna show you guys my favorite item first because why wait to show you the best thing last? So y'all know I've been on this total like 60s hippie kick lately. It's just, I've been watching Woodstock too many times. Sorry, I'm not sorry. And I actually had a really awesome dream last night that I was living an authentic hippie experience and I was like walking along and there was this tent and I was buying pots and pans and I don't really know why I was buying pots and pans for like cooking in my dream. I'm severely domestically challenged. And then the other thing, oh, like just, oh, I'm sorry. This is the tea vlog part. Just, ah. Oh. Do you guys ever have dreams where you're doing something in your dream and it feels so real that you're like telling yourself in your dream, this is real. So that's what I was doing in my dream, but it was the stupidest thing ever. I was like dreaming as I was having this authentic hippie experience that I was rolling up my sleeve and I was telling myself in my dream, I was like, this has to be real because certainly I wouldn't dream of something so mundane. But oh, indeed I did. It's just a sign that like I'm a boring person or at least that I have extremely boring dreams. Why can't I ever dream that I'm like fly anyway? That was enough of a sidetrack. I digress. So my favorite thing that I got today, I actually bought in the Moo Moo section. Yes, no shame. I was shopping in the Moo Moo section and I finally found this may be like a Moo Moo. I don't really know. I think it's authentically old though. I think I'm gonna tell myself that it was made by some kind of hippie on some kind of magical commune somewhere. It I just, it was a magical experience, I hope. It's got all these flowers embroidered on it. It was $8.10, which is kind of expensive to me in thrift store terms of money spending. I rarely buy items that's like over $2. I'm like, no, too much. It's really long. It's got like these kind of, I don't know. At first I thought they were partridges, but I don't think a partridge looks like that. I think a partridge is fatter. I don't know. It's got flowers down the middle and flowers all on the edges of the skirt. It's really uh, colorful. I like it. So uh, this was my favorite thing that I got today. I think it's unique. I think it's cool. I like it. The very next thing that I got is a skirt and I've told you guys numerous times that I love paisley print and I also love red because I wear red lipstick every day and I thought that this kind of matched my mouth a little bit. It has an elastic waistband in the back. I may have to like put a little stitch in this and take this up just a little bit because it is a little bit on the loose side but whatever. It was a dollar and 80 cents and it also has some natural colors in it and I thought that would be good for a couple pairs of boots that I have. The very next thing that I got I thought would be perfect for like the rest of springtime when I'm doing some layering and then I thought it would be good for summer as well. It's a white tank top but it's got these cute little button details on it. I don't know. It looks kind of old timey, like how the top and the middle are sewn together. And then also it has an eyelet ruffle accent on the bottom of it. So it's kind of blousey, but it ties in the back so you can make it look kind of like more fitted at the top, if that makes any sense. It's blousey and fitted at the same time. I thought this would be super cute with some of my denim and supply clothes and some of my free people items. I just thought the aesthetic of this fit in 
really well. And this was only $2. The next thing I got is a scarf. I really liked the pattern. I need to take the staples out, but it's just a square scarf. But I saw on Instagram the other day, somebody had rolled a scarf like this and kind of made a headband out of it. And I thought that was super cute. I don't know who it was. It was just somebody on the popular page. And I was like, oh, that's really cute. So I thought that this would be a good scarf for me because it has red, which goes with my lipstick and it has blue, which I thought would go goodly with my freakishly colored eyeballs. And this was only 90 cents. The last clothing item I got also in the Moo Moo section. I thought this was so cute. I actually have no idea. Like the Moo Moo section is right next to the oldies section. So I didn't know if that meant that this was from like, I, I think the fabrics are too bright and stuff for it to be 60s, but maybe 70s. I tried it on, it looked kind of small, but I don't really know what it is. It's kind of like a tunic, but I really liked the pattern of this fabric. It almost looks like old lantern type of thing. Things. And then once again, it has red in it to match my red lipstick. I don't know why suddenly I thought that that was like the most integral thing about my clothing today. I was like, does it match my lipstick? Oh, okay, good. I thought that this like neckline was really cute and kind of unusual. I don't normally see things like that. Once again, I just thought that this would be something really easy to wear shorts underneath at Disney World so my legs would be free, but I could still layer with it. I don't know what fabric this is. It feels like a silk, so that would be really cool if it was silk. Let's hope that Worms made this. It was $4, but I thought that it would be at least good for vacation-y type things. This would also make a really cool bathing suit cover-up, I think. And then the very last, last thing that I bought, which I just had to run back into the store to get because they forgot to give it to me, is a strand of awesome love beads. I love little multicolored stringy necklaces. I had an Aunt Sandy. She was a real legit hippie and she used to make me these necklaces all the time, but I don't wear those anymore because they're too precious and I don't want to lose them. So I bought this cool replacement. It was only 90 cents and I also like that the length is really short because I thought it would be good for layering with other necklaces. I'm just like, oh, look at the detail. Do you like them? Do you like them? So that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this thrift hurl. I know it wasn't huge, but they're still kind of in the process of switching over seasons and taking away winter stuff and adding in summery kind of items. I just like to do these every now and again, and I think you guys like to see what I find. It's like a treasure hunt. It's always different every single time. I like that. So leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. I love you guys so much. Thank y'all for watching. If you want, take a minute to subscribe, become a member of the Swamp Family and give an alligator its wings. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Love y'all. Bye.